Hey guys, we are so excited because this episode of Jesus is King, uh, we actually filmed it here at Youth Camp at Wilder Winter Camp. We are joined by Kai Stevenson from Authentic Church and also Ed and I will be there as usual. Um, it is an amazing episode and I know you guys will enjoy it. Uh, there was meant to be two episodes, uh, special episodes from uh, Youth Camp, but due to technical difficulties, we only got one episode out. So. I know you will enjoy this episode because there is double effort into this one. So enjoy this episode of Jesus and King podcast special from Wild Up Winter Camp 2024. Enjoy. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another episode of the Jesus is King podcast. Woo-hoo. We're here live from youth camp, right? Dude, this yes. is so and, cool. um, sick. We are, it's actually heaps of fun. Yeah. This is weird. I've got to look next to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 normally you're looking yeah. across from people. Normally I'm looking You're in the across, middle, bro. But, nah, yeah. Dude, wait, what, look at this guy. We just have like know, these like, lame, oh, right? See, this is, the gold he's stitched me up. <laughs> he's stitched me up 100%. <laughs> he set me I up set with set him this. Up. I set him up. I said I look like the biggest narcissist with a gold. That youth budget got to go Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. 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 This is where it's all going. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Nah, I'm joking. This is my dad's, Pastor yeah. Denny's. So, Pastor Denny, this is your mic. Yeah. Um. Well, God makes it sound better. Yeah. yeah. God yeah. makes yeah. it sound better. Apparently, so. Um. We've had we've had a great time so far so already, far, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Move a God I, last night, bro. Yeah, it was, was powerful. That the was worship, powerful. the praise. Yep. Goodbye yesterday. Yeah. Just got oh, yeah. hype of that yeah, song, first bro. Time. Yeah. Dude, and all there's like these new songs. So much yeah. there's so much like crazy writing happening in the body when it comes to like oh, worship. Yeah. 100%. Oh, dude. 100%. Like what, what were we seeing? More than able. Dude. Yeah, that was good. That was More good. More than that able. Good. Such a powerful yeah, song right now. Yeah. Who am I to deny what the Lord It's can elevation, do, man. Bro. They're pumping. They're, They're pumping. They're, um, it's so good. There's an anointing there for sure. Yeah. Um, I know Pastor Sean likes elevation worship too. So. Oh, well, that, what does he like? He likes that uh, lion. lion, bro. Yeah, lion. Oh, yeah. That's, that's bad. Yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah. He loves that whole album, eh? Yeah. Um, Shout out to Pastor Sean, but yeah. <laughs> wish you were here. We wish you were here. Um, next year. Yeah, next year. Next year. <laughs> next year. Um, but um, no, nah, it's been it's been powerful. Last night was really powerful. Yeah. There was yeah. an anointing. Um, and we want to thank you for being here. Yeah. Kai, oh, thanks for having because, me. Because um, it's been powerful, man. And Pastor mm. Jacinta spoke Pastor as well. Pastor Jacinta spoke. Yeah, which great. was, that was powerful. Yeah. That's a great like that word. was awesome. Great word. Yeah. Um, timely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, the, the my favorite part, man, was when she spoke about um, the disciples being younger than what you yeah. know, what, we, what we would imagine, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. They keep forgetting like the, that they yeah. were young. The fact yeah. they were like what 15, 16 yeah, years old, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. crazy like to me. Youth to young adult age. Yeah. And they were just like, you know, oh man. And they were preaching the gospel, doing these things. Mm. And if youth that are watching, man, like yeah. if you weren't here, you missed out for yeah. one. But <laughs> yeah, also um, just so you know, mm. you're not too young. Yeah. And Timothy, in Timothy, it says, "Don't despise, don't let people despise your, your youth." Right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's Timothy. Yeah. Um, you know, like it's so true, right? And and the disciples didn't let that happen. I mean, Jesus didn't let that happen. Yeah. Like, you know, Jesus was the first youth pastor. Literally. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Man, it's good to know. Brother. Good to know that Jesus struggled with the same thing that we struggled <laughs> yeah, with in youth yeah, ministry. Yeah, that's Man, funny. Oh. Oh. Did Jesus so, have a gold mic? <laughs> 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 Bro, see, I'll tell you, it's youth camp. It's youth camp. It's all oh, coming out at youth camp. Exactly. It's all coming out at youth oh. camp. Last night we were up to what past midnight. Oh, past midnight, right? Oh, so, dude, man, uh, we're just. We're, we're it's a new breed of kids, hip. man. They're like just up all night. Oh, they bruh. go forever. Dude, like, oh go to God. bed. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Oh. Uh, we already found a couple knives. I know I wasn't meant to say it, but there has been there has been a couple knives, oh, okay? Dude. Um what what is with Found. youth camps and knives? I remember this one youth camp oh. I was on. We, I, this was like uh, with Pastor Josiah way back in the day, and we were setting up like uh, the. Inf- I think it was the first year we had the inflatable slide, that water oh, slide. Oh yeah, yeah. And we yep. were setting it up on a hill, we were, like just scouting around the area, like is this is a good spot. And I'm just walking around. Oh, there was, and a, there knife? was a knife yeah, on the I ground. Yeah. And it was a, like a proper kitchen knife. Yeah. Like, why is there a kitchen knife out here? Yeah, dude. What the dude? That's that's the knife I found too—a kitchen oh. knife. It wasn't oh, even. Wow. There was two pocket knives and yeah. one kitchen knife. Oh my goodness! I don't know man. What they think they're gonna do with it? Nah, like, hey. like what are you gonna do? Like, oh, like cooking some food in my cabin. Yeah, bro. Oh, I'm gonna hunt an animal. <laughs> what animal <laughs> are you hunting with a with a knife? With like a, that, yeah, bro. a kitchen knife. Yeah, like bro. <laughs> 
What are you hunting? Are you hunting a rat? That's like, yeah, right. the only, only thing you're gonna kill, man. Oh my anyway, God. shout out to whoever that was. I don't, <laughs> I don't think. Look, I don't think. I don't think he's gonna be watching this. But yeah. if he is, by the odd chance that you're watching this, don't do it again. Um, yeah. yeah, don't do it again. Um, but. Uh, we also love you too. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, dude. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, it's been wild one. It's been a wild one. Oh, it's been a wilder. It's been a wilder a one. Wilder yeah. Yeah. Like, it's been awesome. Yeah. Um, but last night was powerful. powerful um, man. It was definitely God moving, and mm. I already feel the vulnerability in yeah. the air. You know, spiritually uh, with the young people, mm. right? And um, and uh, I believe that you know when we watch this, yeah. right, or whoever's watching this, you're gonna see that there's going to be a shift. Um, and, yeah. you know, I think in um, not just this youth ministry, but I'm praying that Kai takes it back to authentic, oh, right? Dude, and and it's sure. a, there's, there's something, there's, there's a move, right? Not just here, but also there That's too. It. I feel like there's a, there's this new level of, you know, need for authenticity with young people. Mm, it's yeah. like, they've been seeing what, church has been doing for like, since they've been little, you know, they've seen all of it. They've seen all the, the, yeah. the tricks of the trade. And so they just want genuine mm. connection at this point. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And so like, yeah. that's what they, they're bringing forward. And so we need to meet them where they're at. Bro, and that's, that's so true. Cause they can tell when you're not. Literally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're so yeah. good. They can see yeah. on a dime, like. Oh yeah, straight away. When you're fake. not being genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. <laughs> and you could like, when I'm at, uh, like I say, I'm at a high school, right? And you know this as well. When, when, when I'm at a high school, mm. You walk into the room, right? You're doing a breakfast club or something and that group of boys walk in or whoever it is, group of girls, whatever, they walk in and you're just like, and you know, you're trying to reach out, like yeah. talk to them. Um, if you have a leader with you or whoever it may be or if there's like another person there and and they will tell straight away if they're like, they'll let you know whether yeah. or not, you know, their vibe, like they're, they're you know, they're, <laughs> they're with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it. they're vibing with you. Like yeah. if, if you know, like, you know what I mean? If you're going to get along or not, yeah, man, they'll let you know straight away yeah. oh, that's because it. that's what they're looking for. They're looking yeah. for someone to be authentic. Yeah. They're yeah. Lo- Shout out to authentic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. um, but also like, you know, they're looking for, you know, that they're looking to be real. Mm, right. Mm. And mm. I think Pastor Jacinta's message last night was, Really, really powerful. Yeah. But I think, you know, when the when the when the preacher gets vulnerable in the spirit, I think mm. then when the youth see that, then they're like, okay, they're more open. It's go it. time. Yeah, 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 exactly. They're way more open. So, well, let's let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's just jump straight to the worship. Yeah, right? and we'll get back to the other things. But man, you're you're a worship leader, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you do it at your church. You've done it at you know. Uh, collabs, you've done at yeah. other youth camps, all that sort of stuff. It's what you do. And I, I believe you're gifted in that. Yes. 100%, man. Oh, you I know, agree. you're anointed agree, in yeah. that for sure. Ed would agree I as agree. well. 100%. Um, and I'm pretty sure everyone here agrees yeah. as well. <laughs> um, uh, we had our pastor just into our pastor just side come and they were like, uh, they were like, oh man, he's good, man. He's good. <laughs> I was like, let's go. Anyway. Yeah, that's, a big, that's a big honor. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I was like, look, I told you when I would get these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't no. listen. No, but you know, um, dude, it was powerful. Yeah. Um, but uh, you, you, so you do this, like you, you constantly do this, right? Yeah. Um, what is it about worship? And like me, Ed, Nigel were talking about it yeah. last night, right? Like in midnight. And we were talking about how important worship is. Mm, mm. Um, but you as a leader of worship, how important is being vulnerable in that oh, moment? So you know important. I mean? mm. Like, because you're on a platform, yeah. especially like new people and people in the congregation, they see you and they look to you as what you're meant to do. Mm. You know, like mm-hmm. when you walk into church, this is how you're meant to be. And so if you're not vulnerable, if you're, you're keeping stuff back, you're holding stuff back, they're going to be able to tell because it reflects in the way you, you know, you lead. Yeah. And so I think you got to be able to put it all on the table for God yes. to be able to lead well and, you know, allow mm. that vulnerability so people can be vulnerable with God. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, wow. That's so good, man. Mm. Cause you are, you're that guy up there. Like, you know, you're the leader, you're leading them into this time with God. And it's like, mm. man, if you're not checking yourself yeah, before yeah. you get, it's the same with a preacher as well. Like if we're not checking ourselves when we get up there to speak on a platform or when you're worshiping on a platform or you're leading any kind, cause you preach as well. It's like, you know, um, you got to check yourself, right? Yeah, and like, even, you know, and, and Ed, you, you talk sometimes too, right? Well, I always, I always talk about like, do you believe the lyrics you're singing right now? Yeah, like, yeah, like seriously, yeah. do you believe, like when yeah. you're, when you're up there singing, yeah. leading the whole congregation yeah, yeah. and you're, and you're singing like, our oh, God is an awesome God. Yeah. Do you believe that? Like, yeah. actually, do you believe yeah, that? Or you yeah. just, karaoke it's, it's, yeah. just, it's, it's so just easy karaoke. to do that yeah. like wow. it's always get stuck in the routine of karaoke especially because yeah. like 
there's there's songs that are popular. You sing yeah. them all the time. And on the worship team, it's so easy to get sick of songs. You just start doing yeah. it out of routine. Yeah. But like you gotta you gotta be willing to just like, oh, okay, this is actually an act of glory to our God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wow. Know? Yeah, that's like, so good, man. Yeah, man. When I heard that uh more than able, bro, who am I to deny what the Lord? I'm saying say it again. Yeah. When I when I first heard that, I was like, wow, that's such a powerful statement. Yeah. And it just keeps looping in my head. But even when I sleep sometimes, who wow. am I to deny what the Lord can do? Yeah, wow, that's man. It. man, it's like God can do so much. Like we, our, our thought of what God can do versus what he actually can do. It's like yeah. two completely different things. Way oh, different. Literally. You gotta like- it, Our thought puts him in a box. Yeah. Cause yeah. we're just not, we're just not, you know- We can't conceive. We can't conceive yeah. it, right? It's, um, yeah. it's, it's so powerful. Mm. And um, these lyrics are powerful, man. Yeah, dude. It, it's like, yeah. I mean, I, w- I was talking to you guys about it. Like why, why do we use music? Like, why do yeah. we use, why do yeah. we start a service with worship, with music? Yeah. You know, we could start it any, any, any way. Like we could just start preaching. Yeah. But why, why do we, why is there music? Why do you guys think we start services with music? What do you guys reckon? What do you reckon, Kai? What do you reckon, Kai? I reckon, well, practically and like psychologically. Yeah. It's, it's way easier for someone to, to ta- get into something with music. Yeah. Oh, like time. if you just start talking to them straight out the gate, like yeah. it's so easy to sh- for someone to just shut down. Like I'm not yeah. ready to yeah. do that. Whereas if you start with music, it's like, okay, I can sort of get into the vibe of before. Yeah. Sort of yeah. sets the tone for the preaching. Yeah. 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 But even like spiritually with worship, you know, you're, you're glorifying God first yes. and foremost. Yes. It's like you sort of set yourself up mm. for the service. Man, I always go back to David. Yeah, David. And yeah. how he built, his government basically, yeah, like a worship team, yeah, yeah literally, yeah, like yeah. the like the goat. Uh, what do you call it? Worship pastor, right? Yeah. He's the best <laughs> ever, right? Greatest of all time, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he sets up his government mm. with like prophetic worship leaders, like oh, so all these, good. and the way the hierarchy, like it's crazy. You yeah. Just read it; it's it's so powerful because yeah. it's like he could have built his he could have built Israel around the fact that they got. All these um, weapons, they got all the armor, right? Mm, they yep, got yep. all these things, but he builds it the fact that he puts the worship, uh, what was it, tab- tabernacle, right? Yeah. Puts it in the center of the city. Yeah. And 24 hour. Yeah, 24 hour worship. Hour, yeah. That's right? yeah. Worship the whole time. Yeah. It's like, could you imagine walking into the, the city? Like mm, oh, you the whole over. time you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. You, you, you fall over straight away. You feel mm. the holy ground and you, you walk into that city, man. And you, all you would hear is just, you know, like liars, like harps. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, dude, so powerful. Mm. And if, if David built his whole, like his, not his kingdom, it was God's kingdom, but mm. as the as the leader of Israel, mm. he built his like governance yeah. around worship. If he did that, like we as churches, yeah. I believe that worship is a powerful thing. Yeah. Now 100%. we have to do it upon the word of God. Yeah, like hundred yeah. percent. We got yeah. two Bibles in the front. Yeah. Ed did that. He got the dynamite stick right next to it. <laughs> um, but we have to build it upon the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's, you know, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. Pastor Sean always talks about it. Mm. But um they work together. Yeah. You know, the you know, the, the spirit and, and, and the word of God. It's like if you don't have it, what does Pastor Sean always use the illustration of? And it's it's old school as, but it's good, mm. is you know, the rudder of like a sailboat yeah. and yeah, you know, that true. sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, you know, the wind is the Holy Spirit, it's empowering the sail, the the sail to go, mm. you know. And um, we've got to make sure we have the word of God, yeah. you know, yeah. with that. And I love that about I mean elevation. I'm not giving them raps right now and they're just <laughs> the whole time, but I gotta just you glazing know. them, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> just glazing them. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, like, you know, you know, every single like you you sung that word, right? Yeah. Like they, they, it's built upon the word of God. Yeah. You know, and I, I that's what I really love about it. But worship without the word of God is 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 nothing. Yeah. Awesome. So we have to make sure we have the word of God. Dude. But Man, it's such an important thing, right? Yeah, man. Music is like a universal language, man. Yeah, that's, that's what it. you're saying. Like, that's yeah. it. Like yeah. I, I've, um, we, we have got a Korean fellowship in our church, and sometimes they'll run a Korean service down in, in the youth basement, and um, like I don't know what they're singing, but I feel something, bro. Like I feel the Holy Spirit in their worship, man. It's like, it's something you, when you hear worship, and like I, I can recognize a melody. Oh, they're singing Waymaker, yeah. but like when you hear it in like a language you don't speak, man, like. You can purely just focus on the spirit, man. There's some, it's, it's hard to explain unless you've actually, you try it. You, yeah. you try it. Like yeah. listen to a song you like in a different language. I know yeah. Elevation. They, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure they do Spanish versions of yeah, all their yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think you can, you can tell when, 
something is like a genuine heart cry, mm. you know, as opposed to them just singing in another language yeah. or, or whatever. You can tell when somebody is actually trying to encounter the Holy Spirit yeah. through what they sing. Yeah. It, like it comes through regardless of whether you can understand the actual words or not. Yeah. Like you, you sort of get this, the spirit mm. of the Lord in you. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a universal language. It's yeah. like even, yeah. even I think maybe even non-believers can get what we're trying to convey in worship. Oh, for like sure. Like if, if it, even at the very least, they don't understand like, if we're singing about, I don't know, a specific scripture, it might be a bit complicated. Even the idea of the emotion in like the the lyrics yeah. that we're using as like a metaphor to explain this. Well, you always hear stories, yeah. hey, like um, unsaved people, they listen like Maverick City. Yeah. They chuck on oh, Gyra yeah. and they're just like, oh, I feel something when I listen yeah, to that. Yeah, you, know, yeah. I, 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 you know, they obviously get the goosebumps and yeah. stuff, but it's like, you know, that's a gateway for the Holy Spirit yeah. to work, yeah. you know, to minister to them. And um, if you do that and then provide, you know, the, the word with that and yeah. behind that, I mean, that's so powerful. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it's such a powerful thing. You know what I mean? It, it, it is a gateway. Like it's a way for you to min- even evangelize to a point, 100%. you know, when, when you ha- see these worship um, teams and, and bands and stuff like mm. that go so, you know, viral. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> you know, if they're giving God the glory, so be it, man. I yeah. want to see them more of that, you know. Well, it comes back to what you said before about vulnerability. Like, mm, yeah, I yeah. think even non Christians can see that there is someone putting their everything on display yeah. there. Yeah. And it sort of opens them up for God to be able to encounter them yeah. in yeah. a way that I don't think a sermon necessarily can always do. Nah, mm. true. You know, like, very true. It's, yeah. it's very powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. like, um, well, for you, right? Mm. Um, there's always a balance, though, in when, when it comes to worship. Um, where, you know, people are constantly trying to find this balance, but it's more, and I think uh, uh, at uh, for the youth con, at the conference we went to yeah. at the start of the year, there was the, uh, a pastor and he, and it was Tim Sun, he's an elevation youth pastor. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke on, um, uh, that's the last time I'm talking about. Uh, he, he spoke on, um, unless you want to come speak at next year's youth camp, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Um, so he spoke on, um, the mystical and the uh, mechanics, mm. I think it was. And my- not mystical as in magic yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Mystical as in spiritual. Spiritual, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And the spiritual compared to the practical. So, you know, constant people, if you're watching this and you're into worship, worship leading, whatever it may be, I think this is really um, helpful. This is a tool for you to use because mm. it's all about being finding that balance yeah, of, yeah. you know, you got to be spiritually prepared. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that, being vulnerable, being in the word, all these things. Um, and being, you know, being open to the Holy Spirit. And, but then also it's the practical. Mm-hmm. So making sure that you know the words to the song, yeah. for one. Making sure you know how to use an instrument. Yep. Yeah making sure you're communicating with the sound guy yep. or whatever it may be, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like making sure you're taking care of all those things. Yep. How have you found um, finding that balance? I think the biggest thing to me, like you said, yeah, being prepared both spiritually and and practically, mm. what it does is it allows the Holy Spirit to move because when, you're, oh, when so you know true. it, like yeah. you know the lyrics, you know the chords, whatever it is, you've just got it locked in. You're not spending energy and mental like, energy on yeah. on stage trying yeah. to remember what you're doing. Yeah. And so it means you you can be more open to the Holy Spirit moving. Yeah. You know, like when you're just locked into like a chord chart that's in front mm. of you. That's why I'm so big on my team with, you know, making sure we don't have chord charts or rely yeah. on lyrics or anything because yeah. when we're relying on it, we're just sort of locked in. We don't actually allow the Holy Spirit to speak to mm. us during worship. That's really yeah. Cool. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And so, and it's the same thing with the spiritual stuff. It's like, if you're not doing the work beforehand, like you're not in your prayer closet beforehand, you can't minister to someone else unless you've ministered to yourself. Yeah, you know? so good. And so I think putting the work in beforehand just allows the Holy Spirit to use you as a vessel Ooh, yeah, on stage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so good. I mean, I mean, uh, I've talked to you. I think I've talked to you about this before, Jake, about how in jazz, uh, you, you know, it's kind of like feel. There's a lot about like you just gotta, you just gotta feel the groove, and yeah. you know, you just, you know, study your scales or your jazz, your blue scales, your minors, whatever. You, you get, you get, lo- you get so locked in on the scale that you just feel for what the, where the, the direction of the music is going. In like worship, you could also interpret that as automatic. Mm. You 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 just you don't have to think. You can and the Holy Spirit can just come down and just go straight into your fingers yeah. when yeah. you hear yeah. instruments, yeah. man. It's yeah. like that, and then yeah, God can just use you while you're up there without you having to even think. Yeah. It's all automatic. 
That's yeah. it. Yeah. And if you go too far the other way, you're too reliant upon your own. Yeah, exactly. You know, work, uh, you know practice. It's just and like then if you go too far this way, then you know you don't have that. You just play the wrong <laughs> yeah, note. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So exactly. you're up to the Holy Spirit's empowering, but you're just going, it's bro. Just like, yeah. the wrong notes. Yeah. No, that's yeah. it. And even like, <laughs> even if you can be in a worship moment with like wrong instruments, then there are some people who like, it completely takes them out of it. Yeah. And so yeah. if you're able to lock in with your team, with the, yeah. what the pastor's doing, whatever, it just means that you're breaking down that, that one extra barrier that someone might have to actually yeah. encountering yeah. God. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? So youth camps always a different beast. Oh. Yeah. When it comes yeah. to yeah. when it comes to I mean worship leading, but also when it comes to just being a pastor in general, yeah. but also being a youth leader, being yeah. a youth. Yeah. It's a different beast because yeah. um, there's something about a youth camp and I think it's always because you know they don't have to go home mm. they're here the whole time yeah. it sets yeah. the mood sets the tone 100%. but what do you think when it comes to worship leading what is it about a youth camp and it, it, maybe conference whatever it is mm. what is it about it when you're up there and the Holy Spirit just moves because last night we saw that yeah and when the, and we felt it yep um, and the Holy Spirit just moves, he ministers. Yeah. What is it about a youth camp that just gets it going, man? I think it's, it's yeah, it's like you said, like you're in that environment constantly. It's not like when you're at youth on a normal Friday night, it's like you're there for three, four hours and yeah. then you go home. And I think, especially at, you know, a young age, like teenagers, yeah. it's it's hard to keep that sort of your mind in the, the spiritual. Yeah. Yep. And so when you're, you're at a youth camp, like you're locked in and yeah. it's like you're constantly surrounded by this stuff and yeah. it sort of just stokes that fire. Yeah. You know, by 100%. the end of it, you're yelling and bouncing off the walls like you never would have yeah. thought you would. Yeah, <laughs> no. exactly. That's so good. Mm. And I, I think last night set the bar yeah. when it comes to, I mean, even this morning was um, really good as well. Mm. We spoke about, uh, Kai and I spoke about um, the spiritual side of things when it comes to dabbling in the wrong things and dangerous doors. And yeah. um, and then I know you and, I mean, it was Pastor Danny, but then someone broke down. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then- um, Me and Nigel left, right? and Hannah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Nigel, <laughs> Hannah jumped up there and um, they did like a more practical yeah. one, changing habits, changing right? Changing habits, yeah. Talking yep. about addiction and that kind of stuff. Like anger so, and stuff yeah. like yeah, that Yeah, we ended up well. talking about anger somehow. Yeah. And yeah, were, yeah, a lot of kids connecting with that. I was, was there shocked, ministering, I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I, I remember I, I came back <laughs> Uh, I came back in. Ed yeah. was talking to like, like two different kids, and then yeah. I go back over here. Ed's got another someone else like for ages. <laughs> like I'm like, man, these these, you know, but it's powerful, right? Yeah. Like yeah. there's such um, at youth camp, there's such a vulnerability mm, no, in definitely. the young people to be ready to learn, yep. but for them just to be ministered to. And mm. um, I'm excited for tonight as well. We got Pastor Isaiah coming, mm. but also I'm excited for the rest of the camp. And yeah, I yeah. think I think it's going to be powerful. They're out there doing travel wars right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're letting all the energy out. Yes. Um, but yeah, man, it's it's something about a youth camp. Hey, yeah. There's yeah. always something about a youth camp. Um, what about we go into some stories, right? Yeah, some funny stories. Some funny stories at youth camp. Hey, you just start with the one you told me. Wait, wait. <laughs> about the tree. <laughs> uh, about the oh, tree. I'm gonna hear this. I'm gonna hear this. <laughs> we um, man, there's always wild pranks. Wild and there's sometimes the leaders. When I was a leader, yeah, like maybe I was this leader to be honest. Um, there's always one yeah. who is just as bad, bro. Yeah. As the, yeah. Like he, oh, they always, go man. out, bro. I don't know why I said he. Uh, <laughs> 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 they go out, right? Like, yeah. dude, they're just as wild. And they're not in a bad way, yeah, in a good yeah, way, because yeah. they, you know, they help out. Oh, literally. Um, man, we I remember we had um see, I don't know if this was a I know it was a youth camp. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know when, but I'm just gonna go for it because I remember, yeah, and I don't know if this is bad and one of the leaders that were my one of my youth leaders who are watching this, because there could be, <laughs> um still come to church. Man, I'm sorry if I'm not meant to say this, but I'm just gonna say it, dude. <laughs> and if you guys get in trouble later on, my bad. Yeah. Um, oh no. Yeah. Uh, no. So, bro, we had um, we always had this guy, right? And dude, I don't know if anyone would know this guy if I say. It. I know Ed knows who I'm talking about, but there was one dude mm. who was just he would do anything, right? And you always have that at a youth group ministry. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he was doing, bro, he would do anything. And so one prank. It wasn't really a prank because I think he voluntarily did it. But <laughs> anyway, bro, this guy got tied to a pole. <laughs> tied to a pole, right? And I remember like um, he was he was shirtless, right? It was yeah. freezing cold. It was oh. a winter camp. Oh my God. Bro, freezing cold. He's out there like 
Bro, he was out there nearly all night, dude. Oh my god! But gosh. he was like, but dude, he, he like I don't know. It was so weird, dude. But it was like a prank because um, he ended up falling asleep tied to the pole, oh. and it was just anyway. It didn't go very well. Um, but that was my. That's one of my crazy ones. I think there was another one where someone was asleep and we carried him out of the cabin. Oh, you know? that's a classic. That's like a you classic. Do that. That's a classic. Oh, one. Dude. You know what I mean? And yeah, you, yeah. I think it was. I don't know if it was the same guy, but um, <laughs> you carry him out of the. You know, just yeah. crazy stuff like that. And man, like pranks are. I mean, we've had a few so far, but like they're not pranks anymore. No, yeah, are they, are they really? It's easy to get now. them escalated. Eh? Yeah, yeah like, like they're barely pranks. You're just destroying someone's bag at this yeah, point. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. oh man, what's some stories, Kai? Ed, oh. what's, what's, oh. what's some stories that have happened? Let's see. One that I remember. Can you think of? Well, Sometimes this is a funny story. We, we. So this is way back in the day, uh, way before like pasta side was youth pasta. Uh, there was a youth camp, and there was a stage set up. And they run to run an acoustic kit and uh, they had no padding. So they got every mattress from all the cabins oh, and encapsulated cool. oh, I remember this. <laughs> the acoustic yeah, I know this kit. As yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. you got the drummer. He's just like caged in, just playing the drums. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, that's, unreal. that's so awesome. It, it worked. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dude. Something about youth camp, man. Dude, it, literally. It works, Ingenuity, man. Bro. Yeah, dude. The thing is, my, my youth pastor was the yeah. guy who did. Like all oh, the really? pranks, literally. Oh. Man, I don't know what it is about youth camp. My my brother, his first youth camp ever, he got duct taped to a pole as well. Oh, <laughs> as well. Like, it was literally like first day, an oh hour into gosh. the camp. What? And, and my youth pastor, shout out to Tavito Moala, what a guy. But he literally, he's like, right, I want to duct tape someone to a pole. And my brother, like, he's 12, first youth camp ever. And he's like, oh, I'll do it. Oh, he's 12, he's bro. Like, and so we chuck him up in a chair, duct tape him to a pole, leave him oh, up there for a good bro. hour and a half. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. It was bad. Yeah, it's the funniest thing. It was yeah. no holds bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, gosh. last year was wild though. That was yeah. dude, that was that was bad. We had so last year, um, I, I encouraged it too much. So I was probably that youth pastor. Like, yeah. like I, was, I encouraged it too much. Yeah, you kinda did. They were yeah. like almost all night on watch. Yeah, like, dude, God, Judy, all bro, night boys. I was watching because the boys were just like they were riled up. Yeah. And uh so were the girls as well. Yeah, yeah. And we had um so we got in trouble from the caretakers. <laughs> Oh, so basically no. what happened was, oh, it's probably a bit bad, but I won't say what was done. Yeah. I won't go into it, but it was, it was bad. Like it was disgusting. Yeah. Um, but, cause, but it was the girls. Yeah. It was the girls. It wasn't the guys, man. Yeah. So it was the girls versus boys. They yeah. were just going at each other, pranking each cabin. Like, and um, I remember, so all the girls, they got a bunch of like- um, uh, Toiletries maybe? Toiletries, I'll say. And uh, put a bit of red paint on them. Yeah, put a bit and, of red paint and, and, uh, and stuck, oh, no. stuck them on some the boys' cabin. Yeah, no. all the boys' cabins, dude. <laughs> and so on the windows, trying to scrape it off. Oh, like it was. Bro, it was and the gross. caretakers call me. They're like, look, the, the girls. I don't know if it's the girls or boys, whatever. They've put a bunch of toiletries on the doors of all the boys, yeah. all the cabins. <laughs> We have people driving past. We don't want them to see all these stuff, all this stuff on the front of windows <laughs> yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm just like, my. no way. So I remember, um, oh, was this when I, I, I'm not too sure if I pranked them after that or we deaded the pranks. No, you, I think you did a prank after where yeah. we turned all their beds. Yeah, or so like, like we were like, we made out, we were so upset. Yeah. And um, it's funny because it didn't stop us. It made us so, it made us, like we made out, we were so upset and we sat them all down in the youth hall. Yeah. We locked them in the youth hall and I'm like, guys, I got a serious announcement. Everybody, emergency meeting in the youth hall right now, like in the dinner hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got yeah. them all in the dinner hall, lock all the doors. I get all the leaders, go just ransack their cabin. <laughs> just go for it. Turn their beds upside down, whatever That's you may so do. Good. They went and did that. And um and we're like we come back in and I, I tried to make out I was upset or whatever I was so because I, I can't act all right <laughs> yeah. you guys people at church you, church family you guys know I can't act um, I've tried <laughs> um East uh it was it Easter production yeah Easter oh, production yeah, Easter yeah, Carol's Christmas on there. whatever yeah. um yeah and so bro and then we sent it back and they all just freak out or whatever and after that we did it yeah you're not getting us back dude yeah. <laughs> no way. we have the final one and that's it that's yeah it. exactly <laughs> like that's it bro we're not we're not going again but um yeah did they let yeah. you back to that venue is this the same place no different no, place okay, no. yeah. we didn't go back there we didn't no, go no, back, no, there. Didn't go yeah, back yeah. there no way there was a bunch of other stuff logistically yeah. but i didn't work yeah. oh, fair, but fair. i will say this um this q triple c q triple c noosa 
Thank you guys. I know you aren't watching, but um, <laughs> uh, on the Wait. odd chance you do, um, we just want to honor them because this is actually, uh, I really like it. This is We're definitely coming back room. next yeah. year, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Like um, it's um, somewhere you can grow into. Yeah, um, literally. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I know there's been other youth youth camps here and, and they've loved it as well. So this place, you got we got to fund local, you know, small Christian businesses or mm. campsites in general yeah, yeah. because a lot of them, um, they don't make it long because of COVID obviously killed a lot of them off. Yep. Um, but also um, we want to keep having youth camps, man. Don't, yes. you know, don't stop it. Don't stop and don't just go hire a school. Get one of these guys who, who you know, they, they professionalize in this. Yeah. Um, this is their business. This is what they live off. So uh, we want to honor them 100% because mm -hmm. I love this place. Like, it's actually a really good place. Like, For sure. everything's really nice. Yeah. Hey? I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. This is a great facility, great, great bathrooms, great yeah. hall, man. Man, it's actually really good. It's so chill, caretakers. Oh, yeah. They're, they're lovely. Hey, yeah. Ellen and um, I forgot her husband's name. But yeah, they're, they're amazing. Yeah. They're so amazing. We are, uh, we, because, yeah, this – so basically last year was – the auditorium was in the dinner hall. Yeah. So oh, we basically had to yeah. do like a whole switch every session. Oh, Whereas this is a lot better and um, so praise the Lord for that. Yes, but, yeah. Um, what else were we going to go into, Ed? Or well, we I was going to say, what you were kind of saying was kind of reminding me like I think all of us have been congregant members in a, in a youth camp. Oh, yeah. Like the lasting effects of – like youth camps yeah. on youth is like so important. Yeah, man. Like yeah. I remember youth camps when I was a youth. You remember? Yeah. You guys remember yeah, all yeah. like, you know, oh, those youth, all they do is just make a mess. <laughs> yeah. But now we have like pastor, worship leader, like, yeah. And all, all because of youth camps. Yeah. You know, I'll yeah, say, so, man, like yeah. youth camps, it's like, it's like the, Proving ground. It's kind of like the proving ground, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. The, you know, you got to invest in these youth, in the youth camps, invest, man. man. Anyone. Because like the future youth pastors probably in our congregation, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's future it. Youth yeah. It's like you don't know who, leaders, yeah. who is going to, you know, become your best leader. Yeah. Like yeah. My, yeah. my parents always tell me like the people who used to cause the most trouble are the ones who end up doing the most yeah. for the kingdom. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Because yeah. I think youth camps, there's just, there's something unique about them that, you know, they just sort of, accelerate the process with youth. Yeah. It's like, yeah. they just fully set them on fire. Yeah, All right, yeah, now let's yeah, go out yeah. and- Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah. It's so true. And I remember I'll, like even, oh, I'll be talking about it tomorrow night, mm. but I believe youth camps are like a spiritual boot camp. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you go there and you come back or you should come back um, spiritually stronger, yep. trained, yep. mature, yep. the same way an army, you know, uh, an army person goes to a boot camp or anyone goes to a boot camp, they come back stronger, yeah. trained, yeah. mature, yeah. like, you know, physically. But we, we believe that spiritually with a youth camp. Mm. And um, I believe it's such an important time. Like you said, dude, you don't know who's in your, in your, in your, in your community, yeah. you know, when it comes to when you're a pastor or you're a leader in ministry or in a church, you don't know who's sitting in that That's crowd, it. as oh, in who yeah. they could be, yeah. what God has planned for them. Yeah. I know Pastor Josiah said it to me. He said, when he offered me the, the youth pastor job, he said, and he said, I never thought you'd be a youth pastor. <laughs> yeah, he said it straight away, but yeah. he said, he said, but God has called you for it. Yeah. And I was like, well, I was like, thank you for one. <laughs> but then I was also like, no, I agree. Like I didn't, I ran from this, yeah. you know, yeah. I ran from this call, but places like youth camps and, and youth ministries and, and all this stuff and conferences and stuff like this, it empowered me to, you know, to keep going. It yeah. empowered me to, um, encouraged me in the call that God had for me. Yeah. And and I think so many youth are sitting out there today and even in, when they sit in these yep. chairs behind us, um, they're going, they might be going through the same thing. Yeah. You know, I know there's a few young guys who are, who are, you know, with us and man, I see them future leaders oh, yeah. you know, in yep. ministry yep. or whatever it may be. Yeah. Some of them even, some of them are even trying to pursue that when it comes to DSM and stuff. Yep. Like they, they know the call they have on their life. Yep. But if we don't have things like this, to equip them, but also as a net that catches them yeah. to say like, when you do fall, we're here, mm. but also we're here to try and disciple you. No, that's um, it. And it, discipleship is a big one, right? Yeah. Yes. Discipleship that's is it. a big one with youth camp. And um, it's, it's powerful to see what God can do when yeah. you put all distractions aside, mm. everything that could affect them, whether it's technology, you know, reception. Or yeah. reception. Oh. <laughs> we, have, we have none of that right yeah. now. Um, we, we thought we did, but we don't. Um, but, you know, <laughs> You put all that aside, yeah. 
There's like, bro, you walk out, you walk out there during free time and they're like, they're using coloring ins. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're using like card games and stuff. Like, hanging out like, with each other. Yeah, they're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I think youth camps like, cause you're in an environment with a bunch of people who all believe in the same thing. I think yeah. when, when you're a teenager, it's so hard to, yeah, you know, yeah. be confident in what you believe. Yeah. Mm. And so when you're around like a group of people who are like, hey, we're excited about yeah, our faith. Yeah, yeah. It just makes it that much easier for you to then you know, get excited yeah. yourself. Yeah, you know? exactly. And we, like last night, we had a couple of boys doing a Bible study. Yeah, yeah that's so like, good. And I'm like, dude, like, you know, they, they might not be able to do that when they're at a school camp or yeah, whatever yeah. because they don't feel that encouragement, right? Being around like-minded people. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, the Bible says, do not neglect, you know, being in the fellowship, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so, you know, it's important that they're here and they're doing this because it's empowering them yeah. to then start their own Bible study because then that kid who's starting it there, he's probably already doing it. You know what I mean? Like they're empowering each other. And it. um, it's, it's such an important thing, mm. you know, being around that and surrounding themselves with, uh, with the presence of the Lord for one, you know, mm. you got a morning session, you got a night session, yep. you know what I mean? So you're hitting both, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You're putting God first in both areas That's before it. you go to sleep and after you wake up yeah. right? and before you start your day. So And I, I love that like at this youth camp, the first thing that we do every day is the devotion. devotion. Yeah. Like before even yeah. breakfast, it's like we're yeah. in there with yeah. the word of God straight yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that's such a good thing because and, I think, yeah. you go. You go. Yeah. yeah, I'm encouraged bro because they came with their notebooks and their yeah. Bibles. Yeah. Like, yeah, they did. No, they it was so you keen. know how, bro, they don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But they did. Yeah, they're so keen. You're right, man. Yeah. It's so powerful. I mean, that was the biggest cheer that last night got was like when yeah. you announced the devotions. Yeah. 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 It was like more than That's the true. tribal wars. Like, yeah. oh yeah, devotion. Yeah. 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 It's so true. I, 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 yeah. I didn't expect it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did you see me up there? I was like, oh, wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> like, was, you know, I'm going to have to yeah. convince you. No? <laughs> yeah. 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 I thought I was going to have to go and wake you up. Yeah. They're already out there. Like, Ready to go. Oh, it. it was, it was, yeah, it was so good. And you, I mean, you guys sat in there. What was that like, the devotions? Yeah, it was good. I think them reading, like, we in our group, anyone who had a Bible, I said, read it, read out, read out the scripture. That's they good. all read it. We got to hear it in different translations as well. And um, yeah, just hearing their thoughts talking about, um, uh, what was this one about? It was about something in Romans, was it? Yeah, yeah, being a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Just I just talking to them, like, what does it mean to be a sacrifice to you? Just and just hearing their thoughts, like, you know, they're they're it's it's a weird because they they really understand what you're saying, but they don't know how to communicate back. Yeah. But they they really do understand what we're talking yeah, about, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Because they were picking it up, they were responding. Yeah, yeah. It might not have been like the most like articulate, yeah. but that's okay. They're young, yeah. but they're they're getting it. Yeah. And I, and you know we shouldn't forget about the youth, man. Oh no, it's way. the next generation. Yeah. You got to keep investing so in them. These camps, like, yeah. man, we've we're seeing so much like great new singers on BV. Oh Just yeah. Just in our BVs yeah. for worship, man. Yeah. Like. They're doing so good. Emily, and, Bella. Yeah. Uh, Desra. Desra. Dude, like yeah. all of them, future worship leaders. Easily, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. yeah, they're killing yeah. it, bro. They're killing it. They're killing it. They're killing it. And so it's good. like you said, like, I think a lot of the time they get what we're talking about. Yeah, they do. They just don't know how to communicate it. And so, you know, we if we just give them, hey, this is what the Bible says. This is what Jesus says about yep. you. Yep. Like, And then they'll take it or leave it. You know, they'll yep. run with yep. it. Yep. Yep. And you just give them, you don't try and dub it down because I think it's that same thing with the, the gen, like being genuine. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. they, they know when you're trying to dumb it down for <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, 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 you just give yeah. them it how it is, like yeah. they'll so, take it. Yeah. yeah. And you know this as well, being a youth pastor. Yeah. You, they suck the confidence out of you oh, when you're yeah. preaching to yeah. them or teaching or whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Because they just sit there, like you said, they don't know how to communicate the back. Yeah. So they're just like, yeah. <laughs> or they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're, you know, doing something girls like talk, you know, and then you just got to get their attention. Oh, you'll get instant feedback with the youth. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> you, you'll know yeah. when you're not engaged. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it's like, you know, that's why illustrations are so important. But, yeah, 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 yeah. but you know, like it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's an important thing that, I mean, even as a, even when you're preaching and teaching, right, um, and you're on a platform, I think youth is the greatest training ground oh, as a, yeah. as a yeah. communicator For sure. because um, if you can't communicate to youth, uh, you know, you can't communicate. Of I mean, <laughs> well, at, like it will teach you how to communicate yeah. for one, right? Like cool. it, it's a hard place to start, but it's a place that it'll equip you to be able to, you know, communicate mm. to so many other people on yeah. so many different levels. It'll, you know, it'll teach you. So um, it's, it's, it sharpens the skills for sure. But also um, spiritually, I think youth are the greatest, um, I, I love youth ministry. Yeah. I mean, obviously I'm a youth, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, it's such a, I've I, I got such a heart for it, mm. but I think it's such an, you know, I think 
I think there's been a shift. Yes. Where for a few years there, youth ministry was a little bit on the back foot. Yeah. Yeah. It was forgotten. I think not yeah. forgotten fully because there was so many youth ministries that were yeah, thriving yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah. there was definitely a step back for a while. Um, but I think we're entering into that. We're, we're bringing it back, yeah. Yeah. you know, but I think it's not bringing it back to the old ways, but we're doing it again. And I That's think God it. is going to go greater. Mm. He's going to go further. And I'm not just talking about our youth ministry. I'm talking about youth ministries across um, the nation, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I feel it as a youth pastor. I'm sure you feel it, 100%. right? I'm sure you feel it. And I, I think the youth feel it. Like, yeah. I, I know they feel it. So mm. God is doing something. Oh, right? definitely. I think for a long time, it was, you know, hey, let's do all this flashy stuff to try and get the youth yeah. in. Yeah. And then this new generation youth coming through, they've seen it all. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yep. they, yeah. They've grown up with it. And so they're yeah. okay, we know you do that stuff. What else you got? Yeah. And yeah, so it's, true. it's sort of, we've had to come back to just the, the basics of- yes. You know, yes. this is what it means to be a, G- a follower yeah. of Jesus. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's you know? so good. It's like, um, uh, we had this shift where, I'm, like, I don't know if you, you in your ministry, uh, you know, Authentic felt this, but we we felt this. There was a massive shift with the youth ministry um, spiritually, right? Mm. So, for example, last year, we were like, when we first, when Chelsea and I first came on as youth pastors, we were very... Um, we brought the fun. Yeah, we were like, fun. Okay, we're Let's bringing fun. Let's yeah, do it, right? Yeah. Let's get them in. Fun, 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 fun. Giveaways, fun, fun. Like yeah. it was just, you know, a bunch of that, right? And yeah, we had yeah. moments though. Like yeah. don't tell, like we had more salvations last year, right? Yeah, yeah. Because um, we were getting them in yeah. and then we would preach the gospel and yeah. then we would, you know, it was almost like an evangelize, yeah. evangelism sort of thing. And then it was just fun, right? And it was that was the highlight of it, fun. Yeah, yeah. And then you'd bring, it was a tool. But um, we had this shift like probably the beginning of this year, yeah, beginning of the year. where yep. uh, we saw, we, we kept doing fun and we're like, okay, we're going to keep doing this. Yep. And you youth, stop showing up. Yeah. Oh. So it was like, they don't want that. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not coming, for, you, you guys aren't coming for that, right? So we had this shift where they were like, okay, now it's, you know, they want encounter. Yeah. They want the Holy yep. Spirit. They want Jesus. Yeah. And uh, that song, give me Jesus. Like yeah. they want Jesus. Um, and and we saw that shift, and it was like so powerful yeah. because yeah. we were like, oh, what are we doing, man? Yeah. Like, you know, if we're meant to be, you know, discipling, why are we just trying to, ha- you know, do giveaways and yeah. have fun? You know, why are we just trying to push, you know, all these things? And I think there's a big shift. Yeah. Um, and like, they can get that anywhere. Yeah, yeah. they can yeah. get it anywhere, right? They can go to a youth event in the world, right? And they can go get an inflatable. They can go yeah. get a food truck. They yeah. can go get a fun, whatever, like an amusement ride, right? Yeah. But they can't get, they can't get, you know, just real discipleship anywhere, yeah. especially with the way the truth and the life, you yeah. know, it, it's so powerful. And I think if we try and beat the world at their game, then we're not gonna, yeah. you know, like there's always That's gonna good. be someone who has something cooler or something yeah. bigger, yep. something flashier. And yep. so if we try and compete in that game, then yeah. like we're gonna yeah. lose. But if we just, yeah. If we bring, you know, the thing that we have, yeah. you know, we have Jesus. We yeah. have, this is yep. what the Bible yep. says. Yep. Yep. You know, I think yeah. we just give it to them straight. That's so They're going to take it. That's so good. That is so good. And it's so true. Like we got to, we're, we're followers of Jesus. So we yeah, got to yes. start acting like it, That's not trying it. to act like, I think, um, who was it? Um, when we had Chetty on, yep. he was talking about, I think it was Chetty. He said, um, I think there's a shift when it comes to the Christian music industry yeah. um, where we were being so influenced by um, the world. Yeah, the where, world. Yep. you know, yep. we were trying to make music like the world. Yeah. We were yes. trying to think. Yes. I think it linked into ministry. I think it linked into youth ministry specifically. Yes. We were trying to be so much like a fun party event yep. um, that we lost the key, yeah. Jesus, we lost the key. What was all about God? It was all about Him. Yeah. It's all about getting them to know Him. It's That's all about, it. you know, reaching more young people so that they can get to know Him. Like it's not so that we can get more people to our event. It's yeah. not so yeah. we can make more money. It's not so we can have a big event and, and do these things. It's all about Him. Yes. Yeah. And so um, that change, I believe I'm seeing. It. And we, we could be biased because we're involved in it, right? <laughs> we're all, we're, all of us are involved yeah, yeah. in it. So we could be a little bit biased, but yeah. at the same time, mm. that's because we're in it. And we can see it, and, and we're That's part it. of it. So, well, it's yeah. like you said, like the fun, the fun stuff. It'll get people in initially, but I don't think it lasts. Like, nah, it doesn't. Because once people have yep. seen, okay, this is it's fun, but okay, what else? Yeah, yeah. You exactly. Know, once they, once they sort of start to yeah. come down off it, it won't yeah. last. Whereas if you 
you get them on fire for Jesus, like you set them off for Jesus, then mm. that'll set them off for the rest of their life. Exactly. Yeah. You know, exactly. That, that's something that lasts forever. It's so powerful. Yeah. And we just started to go into youth ministry. Yeah. So we, we, just, we, just, we just segued it a whole nother way. Yeah. So whoever's listening, if you're a youth listening, this is how it happens. Yeah, uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, it's behind the scenes. This is what leaders and stuff talk about. Um, yeah. But uh, no, it, it's, it's really awesome. And I'm excited for the rest of camp, yeah. right? We got, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, two more days? One more day. Uh, three more days, two more nights. Three more days, two more no. nights. Two more nights. Two more nights. Yeah, two more. Three we'll more just days. stay with two more nights. All yeah. right. So two more nights. Um, we're excited. Hopefully, we don't get kept up too late tonight. Oh. <laughs> we got more leaders. We got reinforcements. We had to get reinforcements. Yeah, yeah we do get reinforcements. <laughs> it was Man. it was it was rough. I had to radio in Daniel Cooper. Oh. We got our kids pastor Lacey yeah, here kids as well. Pasta, let's go. <laughs> She's here. Bring as well. everyone. Yeah, here. we brought everyone. Um. And uh, I didn't get in trouble for it, so thank God. Um, <laughs> uh, they had to push DSM back a week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so no. I'm sorry, Erica. <laughs> I hope you don't not like me because of it. Oh, um, man. No, but it, it was, it was uh, because people want to be involved in the next generation, which is exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, we're excited for the rest of camp. We hope you guys enjoyed camp. When yeah, you watch this, camp will be done, right? Yeah, it'll be done. Yeah. It'll be finished. Um, but we're excited for next year as well. Yeah. Um, we know we, we know God is going to do an amazing thing and we want to totally. lead that into um, even next term, right? In yeah. the next school term and all that sort of stuff. But it's been good. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Kai. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having thank me. You for, yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being at camp in general. Yeah. Oh, um, it's it, awesome. it was been an honor um, to have you. And um, we're grateful for, for your ministry. Yes. We're grateful for um, you coming and being used as a vessel that you yes. are um, to be able to minister to these young people. And I know they're grateful. Yes. Um, last night when you were able to say a few words up there as well and just lead them in, in worship and praise. Um, I know I was touched, but I know they're touched and yeah. I know they're receiving it. And I can see that as their pastor. I can see, you know, God is using you to minister to them. And, and so we were so grateful for that. Yeah. Um, and um, we're excited for the rest of the camp, right? Yeah, yeah. We, are. yeah. yeah we, are. we can't wait to get into it. Um, so, But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we hope you guys have a great week. If you're having a week, whatever week it is. Um, and uh, we will see you guys next time on Jesus King Podcast. Peace, Peace out.